Reuters. Anna Rosado knows firsthand that the quest of achieving the American dream of owning a home can be turned upside down. People saying, all oh, these people are just trying to live beyond their means. It's way beyond that. This is fraud. Period. Rosada, who bought a one-family home with her husband in 2004, says she was pushed into a loan that started with a 6.75% interest rate for two years, but then spiked to 9.99%, ballooning her monthly payment to about $4,000. But when she tried to refinance, she says the lender seemed to turn a deaf ear. It makes no sense. They had no explanations. They just kept giving, giving us the runaround, and I truly believe they were trying to collect on the balloon's interest and they were probably hoping that I would foreclose and they could take my house. Her lawyer Daniel Katzner says his client was a victim of what is known as a predatory loan. This loan contained all of the uh, terms that have basically been used by the subprime mortgage lenders in order to force borrowers to either refinance their loans uh, and incur more closing costs or to face foreclosure and basically lose their home. The supplier of the loan denied any wrongdoing in several media reports. According to Foreclosure.com, 2.5 out of every 1,000 American homeowners facing foreclosure since the beginning of the year. That number is up 22 percent compared to the same time last year as some Americans realize the true cost of their mortgage. And with more for sale signs popping up across the country and properties staying on the market longer, Consumer advocates say it's time for someone to step in and protect home buyers. Bruce Marks is CEO of the Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America and is providing $1 billion in relief thanks to funds from Citigroup and Bank of America. We need to see these other institutions stepping up and saying they're going to commit many more billions of dollars to reinvest back into the people and do to the communities that they stole the money from. So the first step should be there should be a moratorium on the foreclosures. While that may be too late for some, Ms. Rosado has already found a solution. After five months of trying, she finally closed on a new loan with a lower fixed rate, keeping her house and her dignity intact. Conway Gittens, Reuters, New York.